today we're going to try and get the car to hook. Uh, we've done new tires. I added 70 pounds of weight to the back of the car. And we're going to try to get the car to hook and leave. And we need the car to the 1360 foot. And we'll see if it goes quicker than eight. Um, as of right now, we haven't done a whole lot of changes. Uh, Jake has done a lot of, uh, you know, adjusting on the tune. Um, just trying to leave, get the car to leave soft. Uh, our uh, torque converter dump valve, we got it dumping 100%, so basically it's dumping the full 6 a.m. So right now, all we're trying to do is just get the car to leave, leave soft, you know, and see if the torque converter will work for us. But if it doesn't work for us, then I gotta get a hold of Pro Torque and get another converter, probably a looser setup. But as of right now, I mean, testing, this is what, the fourth, fourth or fifth time out with this car ever. And I mean, heck, we're doing pretty good so far. I mean, you know, traction issues aren't where you want to be, but you know, it shows that you got enough, you know, there's enough there. Yeah. So, just needed more weight, and we'll see, so. Here we go. <laughs> so now, also since the last time it's out, like Nate said, we he did do the new tires on it. We went away from the uh, ET uh, Street R's. It's actually got more of a full slick on it. Um, as he was sitting there talking about too, let's see if we can zoom in there a little bit. It's kind of hard to see with the, the reflection, but we've got the uh, the weights and everything. I think the last time we had it out to the track either, I don't think you actually had the drag spooler either. Uh, no, the last, uh, yeah, I just got that done and these, these mounts done mm -hmm. on it. So that's new. Um, also on top of that too, last time we did the video on the car, uh, you didn't have the Motion Raceworks CO2 set up for the shifter either, so. Right, that definitely helped. Now I don't gotta mess with the shifter. It's a lot more consistent, the computer controls it, and the boost is controlled by the CO2. Yeah. So we're actually, we got, um, um, we got gate control now with the 44 uh, millimeter uh, waste gates. So Which is also the, another thing too, we were having an issue with boost creeping, so he got rid of the 38. Yeah, this turbo is just too efficient, the manifold, it, it just does not have gate priority. So I shortened them by about an inch and a half and threw the 44s on there and now we're seeing it uh, with the fuel tech. Um, the boost controller is nice because it has two little solenoids and you got increase and decrease. So it helps out a lot and you can see the little lights on there flickering. It opens it up, puts all the gate pre or all the pressure on the top of the gate which is about, I don't know, what is it, about 70, 80 psi and then it starts backing it off, backing it off to control the boost. And it works pretty good. Good. You know, so we'll see. We'll see how she does. Yep. So. Well, we're just right now waiting for them to uh caller I guess class to get out there this is actually our last season of the year or event of the year here it was originally scheduled to take place yesterday but because it pretty much rained all day yesterday they rescheduled it today so but anyway uh looks like sun's gonna come out today yeah it's actually it's looking like a pretty nice day as far as it's concerned that's uh Firebird did a very very good call with uh, deciding to reschedule it that's for sure so yeah. anyway we'll uh get it out on the track here in a few moments and get some footage and see what happens That looked pretty good. Oh, we're getting there. Yeah. We're actually figuring out the suspension now. It hooked. So it's bouncing though. Yeah. So we got to figure out how to get gas in from doing this shit. But as soon as I um, shifted into second gear, I settled it down and then I was just along for the ride. Yeah. See how it shifts itself now. Oh yeah. So, so far so good. The tires work. Yeah. Yeah, these pro bracket radials are awesome, so. Yeah, for the first pass with all the changes you've made since the last outing. I think it also would have helped is if I would have gotten a little bit better burnout. We didn't really get a lot of smoke, so I might 
keep the R's up. I might even shift them to third, because third gear it seems to give these tires good and smoky, even like the, the 275s, they get good and smoky in third, yeah. so. So you spin them. Everything looking good with the log shake? Yeah, it's looking all right. Just uh, gotta make a few adjustments, but not a whole lot. Nice. So far, so good. Yeah. Definitely looks like it hooked pretty good for the first the first attempt with everything. Light years better. Now I would have. I, I would have put 100 pounds in the back if they actually sold me 100 pounds of weight. <laughs> well, can you not just go get a dumbbell from the store or something? Is this what it looks like? That's what they are. Yeah. No, I, I got them off Craigslist. Oh. Yeah. So the, the lady, she had a whole bunch of little ones. I'm like, dude, I'm not making a stack this fucking big of, you know. Well, just go to the. On the round around cars, we take an old set of like small block shaving valve covers. Fill them with oil and put some bolts in it, and then just bolt them to the to the car. Bolt them in. Because, uh, what class are you? I'm like not nine. I'm at the end of those guys, and he's like, "You better hurry. They're almost done." I would go like this around the corner. Oh, fuck fuck you down your all day. <laughs> like the fastest yeah. car here. Yeah. <laughs> and then when he writes "dial in" on your car, it's like his belly's like you know, on the side. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> It's like, sir, can you please take your gut off my sixty thousand dollar Audi, please? <laughs> <laughs> Which Audi are you running? He's got the RS. One without paint over there. The RS three. The RS three. Yep. Eight fifty six. Eight sixty nine. Or was it eight sixty nine? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Cool. See ya. Oh, there we go. I got the slate. So yeah, eight sixty nine. One sixty one. We got our sixty foot back. There you go. One three sixty foot. Things moving. But our short track was lacking, and that's on purpose, you know. So yeah, baby right. steps, you know. Dial it in. Baby steps. Suspension better this time around. Yeah, this time it didn't bounce as much. It was a little bit bouncy. It might add one click to the rebound. I don't know if we're going to make another pass today, but this far it definitely looks like uh, big improvements for just two passes. So. You guys have not seen the uh, unjoys of packing a parachute. This is basically the crap you go through. You pretty much find every friend you've got at the track and ask them to help you pack it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, this, this one started to rip earlier, so we had to shorten it, which now it's making a pain in the ass. I wish I would have Just keep it tight. I can't get any fucking more. How many people does it take? Everyone. Oh, fuck. You want me to try to pull it? Yeah. Oh, here. Put the cord in. There we go. Look at that. So you guys had those Asian eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, put your dick in it. <laughs> That's there. racist. All right, so. <laughs> We are not PC. Why is it we get worn out putting a damn parachute in? Because we're old. That's why. We're old.
We all got a case of the old. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But when you roll through, you were way far left. Right. Wow. So pay attention yeah, to the track and try to keep it. that shit. Yeah. Well, no doubt pins doing good. So far, so good. Make sure the injector clips are on. That was awesome. What? Oh, the last time we had the car out, number three injector clip came off. Oh, that's not good. Uh, luckily, the fuel tech saved it. but. Oh, that's good. Pulled the plugs, didn't melt the ground or anything like that. It was the hotter cylinder, but that's only because one injector was, you know. Right. <laughs> well, well, yeah. Did you lose on the primary or the secondary? On ramping. Primary. Shit. Ramping uh, first gear on a little bit center, and then second gear, final one pound blues, third gear, final one pound blues. Whether you get it or not. Right. Because I'm sure we're slamming the gear. Mile not there yet. Gear 130. Got HDs on. Put those in. That's a mess. Sixty pence so far. One, three, two. After all that money getting spent, finally going in the right direction. Holy crap! Right. Holy crap! And then next year we get to do it all over again. Well, we're going bigger turbo next year. Hopefully, a new torque converter. Fourteen seven. Ride that converter a little longer. Maybe it's on spray. Maybe if it uh, settled down and enough, we'll you drain spray. Uh, yes. 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 Yep. So we're ready. Yeah. Dry stuff. Yes. competition home for the owner because he brought like four cars out here and we can't drive them at the same time so I'm really not going to complain too much. Mike's going to take my truck home. Oh, I, got a, I got a new truck. Did so, I got a tow rig. I got out of the BMW and got a uh, 2014 uh, EcoBoost F150 so I'm pretty happy for it. Pretty excited so don't really have any massive plans to make it go fast but you know, the little cosmetic things kind of make it my own but anyway. So uh, yeah. So that last pass, uh, you know, Jake put a little bit more into the car and everything, um, and it just kind of took the tires off. So we made some suspension settings and made some changes, and it didn't really work out in our favor. But I mean, it is kind of getting later in the day, um, and the truck kind of is going away too as well. So, anywho, unfortunately, that's going to be a wrap for our season this year. Um, we've got some changes and some plans coming up on the old Hater thing. So just kind of stay tuned to the channel um, for, you know, for the Hater Sting updates, for updates on Mark's car, you know, other future projects we've got. Eventually we're going to get my car back in there and get it fixed because I broke the transmission on it. That's why I've not really been anything going on with that lately. So, but uh, appreciate you guys watching. Hit that like and subscribe button and catch you guys have a good day.